Oh, hi. Um, sorry, uh, the gimbal action may not be necessary during this video, but it actually kind of does apply because right now we're talking about this little adapter from Endocine, little quick release adapter. I wanted to do a quick video to just, you know, kind of let you know about it because Endocine actually did reach out to me about a slightly different product, it was a V-mount adapter. I don't own any V-mount equipment, so I didn't need that product. They asked me if I like this product and I said, sure. Now I didn't take them up on their offer to send it to me because it was kind of one of those, you know, you buy it and then we'll reimburse you. And I said, you know, that's that's cool. I really appreciated them reaching out to me to ask me if I wanted to review a product. And I kind of sat on the information for a little while and I got to looking at this little quick release plate and thought, that's actually something I could use. So I bought it and I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I'm actually using it most days in the way that one of their suggestions on the website suggests. One of their suggestions suggests. That's a sentence, I promise. And that is between the tripod feet on my gimbal and the main body on my gimbal. This is the Zhiyun or Zhiyun Crane Plus gimbal that I use with my Sony a7 III and sometimes with my Panasonic GH5 here. And one of the things I often do when I'm using this gimbal is when I need to get a tight shot and the, and the feet are in the way, I will unscrew the feet, which as you can see, takes a minute. And then when I do that, I'll throw this in my pocket and walk around, but I also have to ensure that the little 3 8 to quarter 20 adapter doesn't fall out of the bottom because it does and I have to be aware of that so it doesn't fall out and then I can't put my feet back on my gimbal. And that's where I decided to use the Andesini adapter is between that joint so that I can more quickly take the feet off and put them back on and not lose the adapter. So before I put this on, this adapter is kind of cool. Um, other companies make the exact same thing. I've seen this branded with a different company's name on it. Whether or not they're manufacturing them all in the same place, I don't know. I bought the Andesini version because Andesini, again, was nice enough to reach out to me. Anyway, so it's got two buttons on the side and you can press them and release the top plate. And the mounting plate that goes on your device actually has a D-ring on the bottom so that you can pull that out and use the D-ring to tighten down onto your device so you don't have to use an Allen wrench. It's toolless, but you can use a flathead screwdriver if you wanted to. The top plate is what you would put on your camera or in this case on my gimbal, and this stays on your device. This goes anywhere else you like, either via multiple quarter 20 holes in the bottom. There's also a 3 8 inch hole and actually it has, as you can see, Arca Swiss rails. So you don't have to adapt all of your other tripods. You can just use this in addition to all of your other tripods that have Arca Swiss plates on them. And once you snap in the top plate to the receiver, it then also has a lock. You can lock it and then those buttons do not retract. Well, this one retracts, but the locked one doesn't retract in, so it's not going anywhere. So a nice little added lock feature. Then just unlock it, press the buttons, and the plate comes out. So let me show you how I use this on my gimbal. Take the bottom plate, and it lives on the feet of my gimbal. Take the top plate, and mount it on the bottom of my gimbal. Turn the gimbal on. And now you can just more quickly attach those feet, put the gimbal down and you're done. And again, I wouldn't necessarily have thought about doing this except for the fact that this particular gimbal doesn't have a quick release foot system. So I found that again, I was unscrewing the feet a lot when I was in tight spaces, putting the feet in my back pocket and almost losing the adapter a lot. So this gives me the ability to quickly pick up my gimbal, release the feet, put those in my pocket, and now I've got this, and I don't have to wait around and try to screw the feet back in. I pop it in, I lock it if I want to lock it, and I know that it's secure. And it's been a really great tool. I used it this past week when I was doing a uh, 10 camera shoot. This was one of the cameras. This is my roaming camera. And I got to just play with this all day long. And it was fun and it was only about 23 bucks before tax and everything. So it's something that is 
been a decent little investment to help me be quicker at getting my gimbal on and off its feet. And again, as I said, the bottom piece does have Arca Swiss rails. So if you were to get two of these, which I might do now, if I were to get two of these, I could keep the bottom piece on one of my tripods and then just pop the gimbal off, pop it on a tripod and just go back and forth. And I have needed to do that many times. I'll be out filming something and I'll find that I wanna put the gimbal on a tripod so I don't have to hold it and maybe I don't have a table where I, I can't put the gimbal up on a table like this. So maybe I have a regular tripod like this and I'll want to just move it. Well, obviously that would require me to buy two of these. So I have two of these receiver plates, but it's a thought. It's something that will allow me to quickly take the gimbal and put it on a regular tripod. Let's do that real quick. Regular tripod with an Arca Swiss receiver plate. Put that on, assuming I had a second one, pop that off, pop the gimbal on there, and we're good to go. That's it, so far it's been a very secure hold. I don't feel like that's going anywhere. Again, it's got the lock, and once everything's secured down, again, I just feel it's a secure hold. It's quick, it's easy, and I'm done. And it's a new toy, and I thought maybe since I spent my own money on this, I'd give you a little bit of information so that if you want to pick one up, you can, and I'll leave that up to you. But that's it. It's the Endesini Quick Release Plate, and I use it on my Zayun Jun Crane Plus Gimbal. That's it. I hope this information has been helpful. See you later.